Hello my lovelies, how have you guys all been doing? I'm trying to record a video, but I just keep failing. Oh good golly. I am doing really great this week. I have been kind of in a mistborn addiction. I think I need an intervention. And you guys all know this already. So instead of stop listening to Mistborn, I'm going to convince all of you to start reading it. Because then I have more people to talk to about it. Right? That, that's what you're supposed to do. Get your friends addicted to what you're addicted to. Then it's less of a problem. Don't do this. It's probably bad. But read this book. The first book, The Final Empire, this first... Blah, 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 blah. The Final Empire is the first book to the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. And I've got to say, it's one of the best books I've been reading in a long time. With the world being so well built and, like, there is, like, Brandon Sanderson has to have, like, a deep file of all the things that just build this world. Let it be the lore, the prophecies, the different religions he has kind of going on in the background, and then the fact that he has had to like write a story underneath a story to tell this whole series is just wow amazing. You know, I really want someone to get on making this into something more people know about. I know it's such a well talked about book on booktube, but at the same time I feel like it does not get enough love. It is astoundingly well written. The characters are all really well built with their own stories and where they came from and how they became who they are. That it kind of amazes you that he had any time telling you about this character and that character and the back lord of this thing or all of it that there's actually a story underneath all of that about this world with the mists and the ash and the lord ruler let alone there actually being a storyline about the main character and her growth and her becoming who she's supposed to be and the people she meets along the way. It's just an amazing series that I'm on the third book and I'm so sad that I know the fourth book is based hundreds of years later that it's going to be the end of these characters and how they interact with each other and other random people they add along the way. When you first start reading this book, you don't know how complex it's going to get and all of the inner layers of years spanning time and it's kind of this great way to look into life even on our planet and how things are kind of set up. If you haven't started reading this book yet or if you haven't even heard of it, Go out there and read what it's about and pick it up if you can because it's just amazing. Okay, I'm going to get into a little bit more about the book in precise details. I'm going to like break little bits, but nothing that's going to change your views, I don't believe, of this book. You start by kind of meeting Vin, who's this street kid who is working for a thug kind of thing. It's a thief ring and she has luck. She can just put a very small amount of luck into things and because of that, because she has that little push of luck, things go their way a lot more often. One day she pushes her luck a little bit too much and she starts getting hunted by the Lord Ruler's Inquisitors, who are these scary different kind of people. And she kind of runs into a world that is the underground of the underground she was already living in. She didn't know very much about 
all of the things that were happening in the world she lived in and she gets to join this new crew where she finds out more about herself and gets the opportunity to grow so much. The multiple characters in the book that she meets, be it Kelsey, Kelsier, Kelsier, I've been listening to the book and now because I'm looking at the words I can't even say it, but if it's Kelsier who is the crew leader that she joins or any of the smaller but not any less important characters, they just, they're so well built that you just want to know about them more and more every time they're brought up. You really want to believe in their goals of changing the world they live in and no longer being oppressed by the Lord Ruler and the nobility. And as you read this book and find out more about the world and how it was created, the more you have these deep-seated questions and the more you want to know. And I just... I am so purely amazed by follow, of reading this book and how immense the world that Brandon Sanderson has built. And I'm so intrigued by the fact that this is going to be a world he continues to write books about and I don't have to give up anytime soon. Well, at least I'll have to wait till the next ones come out, but I am so intrigued by the fact that he's keeping this world as a continuance. And I could be somebody who's very sad later on, finding out after book four or something. Book four is going to be totally different characters, I'm guessing, because it's 300 or so years in the future. And maybe I won't feel the same about this world once the characters themselves are gone, but sometimes you just want to stay in that world, so we will find out. I hope you guys pick up this book, or at the very least, at least to read what this is about, read the synopsis, and decide for yourself if you want to read it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!